language and hesitation can prove fatal. The prize is modest, just a glass bowl, but the honour of becoming the nation's mastermind is priceless, so let's get on with it. And ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Jonathan Payton. Your occupation? I'm an IT technician. And your chosen subject? Joy Division. Joy Division, in two minutes. What is the title of Joy Division's first EP? They released it themselves in 1978. An Ideal for Living. Yes. Who became the band's manager in April 1978? He was played by Paddy Considine in the film 24-Hour Party People. Rob Gretton. Yes. In which studio in Stockport, run by members of the band 10CC, did Joy Division record their first album, Unknown Pleasures? Strawberry Studios. Yes. Under what name did Ian Curtis, Bernard Sun, Tony Tabak and Peter Hook first perform in 1977? They recently changed their name from a Stiff Kittens. Warsaw. Yes. Which single that did not appear on either of the band's albums was originally released only in France on the Sordide Sentimental label in 1980? Atmosphere. Yep. The iconic cover photo for the band's second studio album, Close Up, was taken at a cemetery in which city? Genoa. Yes. Who was the vocalist with Crispy Ambulance who took over vocal duties at a gig in Berry in April 1980 when Ian Curtis was ill and was only able to perform two songs? Alan Hempsall. Yes. At which legendary Liverpool music venue did Joy Division play on the 15th of July 1978, the first of a number of appearances there under their new name? Cavern Club. Eric's. Who produced the band's two tracks on Factory Records' first release, A Factory Sampler? Tony Wilson. Martin Hannett. What's the name of the drummer who was replaced by Stephen Morris in August 1977, thus completing the best-known lineup of the band? Stephen Weatherdale. Yes, Ian Curtis first appeared on the cover of a magazine in January 1979. What was the name of the magazine? NMA. Yep. 5,000 copies of the 1981 compilation album still came as a deluxe version, with the cover being made of what material? Hessian. Yes. Who directed the 2007 film Control about Ian Curtis and Joy Division, having previously directed the video for Atmosphere? Anton Corbine. Correct at which university did the band play their last gig on the 2nd of May in 1980, 16 days before Ian Curtis committed suicide? Birmingham University. Yes, which Joy Division track appeared on the 10-inch Virgin Records LP Short Circuit, Live at the Electric Circus, released in 1978? Everything must break. No, at a later date. And we're out of time. You have no passes. Jonathan, you've scored 12 points.